puffy cloud cover in uh, yeah. in northwest Arkansas. Matt, still got some doozy of some storms south of here. Yeah, the bigger storms tonight will probably be south of the mountains. Northwest Arkansas, we got hit hard this morning. In the River Valley, some of us got hit hard if you live closer to the mountains, but farther south, kind of hit or miss. But this evening, we're definitely targeting those storms to the south, especially south of Fort Smith. New severe thunderstorm watch coming in from the SBC includes the entire River Valley, the southern uh, five country viewing area. We've got to be look on the lookout for these storms. We had a monstrous hailstorm push right through Waldron. It was just looking at some photos that you all had sent. Um, they're about hen egg sized uh, hailstones that are coming down. That does some damage. Those are the ones that start knocking out skylights, your moonroof on your car, the sunroof, and then also can do some some window damage if the wind's blowing those hailstones sideways. But let's take a look at these weather maps. This is a crazy setup. This is something that we would get more towards the early and mid spring, not here in June. Uh, we're watching several severe thunderstorm watches and warnings across the south, the mid south for us, and then the deep south as well. We've had multiple uh, tornado warnings across Georgia and Alabama. It's, it's been one heck of a day for sure. But let's take a closer look at the storms here at home. Now, five country itself, we've now pushed this big old storm out. This is now in Yale County and Montgomery County. This thing is headed towards Maida and also towards Hot Springs and Lake Washita. This thing is barreling out. The hail core is on the southwestern side where you have a lot of that lightning. Uh, this is taking a look at that hail that we've had. This is now even growing. I mean, this is getting to the point where you're at tennis ball size hail headed right towards Washita. This is just outside of Scott County. This is extreme northern Montgomery County, southern Yale County. But you can see the hail that we've had all the way from Oliver, we took a direct hit in Waldron and then right towards Harvey and Parks. And uh, now it's pushing out. Thank goodness. These are the hail reports that we had this morning. These are showing hail stones that fell in western Washington County and southern Washington County. We had some big ones over Winslow. In fact, Winslow and back west towards, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Salem Springs and then just towards Lincoln and Prairie Grove, we were pretty much the hardest hit. And then we also had a lot of wind reports in Fayetteville, Springdale, Rogers, Salem Springs too. But the storm started in Tulsa and then came in and really hit us. And we had other storms too. This shows you the rain that we've had so far, kind of a rain hole over Fort Smith, but we picked up a lot in the mountains today. That's where we had the hardest hit areas. Right now we're in the 80s, pretty much area wide. Boy, it's warm in Fort Smith. We could use a shower, not a thunderstorm. Northwest Arkansas, we're just trying to recover from this morning. In the River Valley, we're baking. Waldron, we've now dropped our temperatures because we just got that rain coming in from the west and now it's charging off towards the east. So still about a 20% chance in northwest Arkansas for a storm this evening, a 30% chance in the River Valley. You've got to be on the lookout. Now overnight tonight, a few more storms are possible. I don't think we'll have as many as we had last night. We got to watch out for tomorrow night. That's our next big chance. We've got a level two severe risk over the River Valley, level one for parts of northwest Arkansas and the eastern River Valley. These storms are going to be coming in from Oklahoma. I want to show you what these look like. Now, first off, we have tonight and we'll have an isolated storm or two. I think for your Thursday, nice day ahead of us. Temperatures in the 80s, eventually climbing to maybe even 90 degrees or so. But Darren, we're going to be watching some very strong thunderstorms in Oklahoma tomorrow evening and they're going to take a run at us. We'll track them, but they could be severe. Uh, so watch out for those. We have more storm chances into the weekend. We'll spend a little bit more time on the seven day coming up, but there are rain chances for the next four days on and off. And some of these storms are strong. Wow, this is very active the next very several active, days. Yeah. Okay. All right, Matt, thanks. Showing up to your wedding in a police car is usually a bad sign, but for a pair of brides in England, it was the perfect solution.